is coming to me. Is coming to me. The is coming to me. Is coming to me. Yes, good God, morning. Money is coming to me easily and effortlessly. Isn't that amazing? Isn't it so amazing that when you stop seeking money, money seeks you? Easily and effortlessly. We do so many things to get money, to do money, to have money. We have jobs and businesses and all of that. And yet still, we don't see how it flows in abundance all the time, you know, all the time. So what happened to me in this process of abundance that I live in, and it wasn't, it wasn't easy. However, I chose to change my perception of abundance and then change it again to, okay, what do I do to increase a flow of financial abundance in my life? What do I do? How do I get that? And I read this morning a post that a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine said, um, wealthy people do not talk of their money. And I agree. You don't hear wealthy people saying, um, I am worth X million dollars, or I have uh, a bank account in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. They don't talk about the money that they have. However, <clears throat> what I have found is they write books. They have websites. They do coaching. They show you how they built their wealth. And some of those people are like Robert Kiyosaki, who just wrote... Um, Fake Money. This book is amazing. Fake Money, 
fake teachers and fake assets. If people are not feeding into you how they accomplish their goods or what they do, then they're not good coaches. They're not good uh, people. In this book, he actually talks about all the things that we bought into um, in the 70s. I remember because I was working the TSAs and the the flex accounts, and all of that, even down to the savings accounts in banks and how much they use our money to build their wealth and give us little or nothing in return. That's the banking system. We got sold on the idea that having a savings account in a bank would increase our wealth. Has that worked out for you? It didn't for me. Um, I use the bank differently now, but I do do other things. So one of the first things that I remember that I did when I first started, along with being involved in a health and wealth coach, uh, was to start reading, you know, and one of the books that I picked up right on a, at the grocery store, what does the Bible say about money? God wants us to be wealthy. God has given us so much that we don't even see as a form of wealth. You know, even down to the trees that, that give us oxygen, the flowers that we beautify our lawns and our houses and stuff that gives us abundance of oxygen, right? It keeps us alive. But the Bible has a lot of things about money. And of course, everyone always says the love of money is evil. And I guess you can actually say that it is to a degree, depending on what you do with it. Do you share it? Are you willing to assist someone without any um, strings attached? You know, sharing what you have. Well, I'm here to share what I have. So another book that I read was George Carlson's The Richest Man in Battle. Right. And this book tells you that you should always take a part of your money for yourself. Always. Always. You should be putting aside a percentage of your money. Whether it's ten dollars, five dollars a day or whether it's five hundred dollars a day, something should be put somewhere as an asset for you. Not to pay bills, not to um, to pay for services rendered, but just for you. And I do that on a monthly basis because now I am retired. So I don't have the flow of uh, being able to save weekly. So I save monthly. And I've maintained and done well by it. Another book that I love is by Robert Kiyosaki, again, um, How to Build a Team of People. Even if you have your own entrepreneurial ship, you need a team. You cannot do what you do by yourself. You can't do it. We maintain and we grow our wealth in a community of people, whether it's your family or friends or other people who want to do the same as you. And of course, my favorite of all books that I've read many times and listened to constantly is Think and Grow Rich by Robert, by um, Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill is an amazing man. Um, he started out doing one thing that ended up in, in interviewing um, thousands of wealthy people, letting them and um, showing us what they did to build their wealth and how we should align ourselves with those concepts and ideas. And I'm here to say that, no, wealthy people do not talk about the money that they have, but they can show you a way to build your wealth. And that's why I'm here today. One of the things that happened to me is that I was given a free gold account. I save in assets in gold. I save in real money. Gold has always been a money, a source of increase. Never ever has it gone down as far as um, not being able to render services by giving and sharing gold. 
some of the company that I am talking about that helped me to build my wealth and helps it to continue to help me to build my wealth is called Carrot Bars International. I love this company because everything is for the company and its affiliates. And I love that. So I actually can claim this on my income tax as a business. Where in the world, except for in the United States, can you claim your product that you save on a daily, weekly, monthly, bi-weekly, uh, bi-weekly process and then claim it as a business at the end of the year? Hmm. There is no company and it doesn't take space. So it doesn't take up storage of, of, of products in your um, in your house. You know, you can actually store it in a bank in your house. Cards that have gold on them, and I can take them anywhere to redeem them. I can sell them back to the company. I can offer it to other affiliates. I can actually take it to a gold a gold standard place and get cash for it. Carrot Bars International is an amazing company. And one of the things that we do above all as far as uh, saving in gold, we also save in cryptocurrency. What would it feel like? Just imagine this. If you had gotten into Bitcoins when it first started. I missed that boat and someone told me about it uh, 20 years ago. In 1990s, I missed it. They were selling gold Bitcoin for a dollar. Now it's what nine thousand dollars a coin. Could you imagine having that opportunity again? Well, you do. Our cryptocurrency is now something like six cents a coin. In the next upcoming five years, that six cents is going to cost come into $6,000 a coin. Why? Because gold always increases. And we are the only company that actually gives you the opportunity, good morning, gives you the opportunity to uh, get into this whole idea of cryptocurrency, which is a gold coin. It's amazing how opportunities show up and we refuse to even investigate, to investigate before we say no, before we say no. Personally, for me, saving in gold and not having an affiliated with a banking system in the US banking system is an amazing situation right now. I have increased my wealth a lot just by saving a gram of gold on a monthly basis. When I had a part-time job, I did it on a weekly basis. But right now, I am grateful because I know that when, in, when it's all said and done, when it's all over and I have been rested in my coffin <laughs> and passed on, my child will be thousands and thousands of dollars more wealthy because I left her my account. And she will have that goal to do whatever she desires to do. So not only am I building my wealth, but I'm building my family's wealth. And that's why I want to invite you to two things. One, go to the website and watch the videos. It's in the description. And two, come on out to Suitland, Maryland on Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock. The address is 4710 Off Place, second floor. And you just come on up and listen. Investigation is the best way to increase your wealth. No, we don't talk about the money that we have. No, we don't. We don't talk about how many thousands of dollars we have accumulated, how much cryptocurrency we have, but we do show you how to do the same thing. 
So I offer this to those people who are already a part to go back to saving. Even if it's just $75 a month, even if it's only $25 a month, even if it's only buying cryptocurrency $14 a month, whatever it takes, whatever you can afford, do it on a committed basis and you will see your wealth increase. So I hope I see you at a, tomorrow at 7 p.m. This is Monday, so Tuesday night, 7 p.m. on Auth Place, just to look, just to look. I hope I see you on the website that I have, uh, therealmoney.online slash Rosa with an H, J. Look at the videos and then join and get your free account and I'll show you what I do. Be so ever blessed. And remember, money is coming to you easily and effortlessly. But first, you must take an action. So have a good God day. Know that I love you. There is nothing that you can ever do to change that experience. And I will continue to share, continue to invite you to do something different. Yes. Alexa, play mm. Money is Coming to Me. Money yes. is Coming to Me by Karen Drucker, starting yes. now on Amazon. So Music. remember, money is coming to you easily and effortlessly. Yes. Yes. Money is coming to me easily enough, and this money is coming to me. Money is coming to me easily enough, and this money is coming to me. Money is coming to me easily enough, and this money is coming to me. Every time I open my eyes, I receive all that I need. I receive it all that I need. Knowing that God, God is my supply. Is my soul. Yes. I relax and let it flow. Money is coming to me easily and money is coming to me. Yes. Money is coming to me easily and effortlessly. Money is coming to me. Money is coming to me easily and effortlessly. Money is coming to me. Money is coming to me easily and effortlessly. Money is coming to me. And I have all I need. I got all I need. It's all inside of me. It's inside of me already. Manifest it. And let go. Yes, I breathe. And let spirit direct my flow. And I know that money is coming to me easily enough. Money is coming to me. See you later. Money is coming to me easily enough. This money is coming to me. Money is coming to me. We're in the money.